Hey, it's Cheryl Lazar. Hi, it's me, Bart Baker, from the internet. <laughs> and this is the fourth annual What's Trending on Tubular Presents, the top viral videos, stars, and social media trends of 2015. That was a mouthful. Viner of the year. You know this guy, he's been in your videos. Don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> King Batch. <laughs> oh, don't do it. Don't do it. In 2015, did 152 vines. 152 what? vines? Over 57 million loops that vine this year. It's a lot of loops. Cray cray. What's the key to King Batch's success? <laughs> he kind of pioneered the whole platform. He created the skit type thing on Vine as opposed to Vine was originally made just for people to be like, hey guys, it's me and this is my house. And now he's moving on to a TV show, movies. He's yep. blowing up everywhere. He's blowing up. Lele Pond's most views loops of the year. Pretty incredible. It's nice to see a woman winning it. Instagram of the year, Taylor Swift. 57.2 million Instagram wow. followers. That's a lot. Her most watched Instagram, a video of her dancing with Dylan, a seven-year-old boy who danced to Shake It Off on Ellen. Oh. Are you jealous that seven-year-old Dylan got to dance to Shake It Off with her and you didn't? I'm afraid of her. She kind of dances like you, like hoppy. Hey, I'll take that. She's very hoppy. It's like a rabbit on crack. <laughs> T-Swift isn't just a major player on Instagram. She's killing it on YouTube too. Why do you think people continue to follow her and love her? I think she's like America's sweetheart. You know what <laughs> I mean? And then, uh, you know, now she's dating Calvin Harris, so that's... That not, helps. That's not gonna hurt. That's a good collab. Yeah. Animal video of the year goes to Unlikely Friends, which is also interesting because it's an ad from Android that was on YouTube, wow, got a ton of views there, and then people started to rip it and share it on Facebook. On Facebook, it got 179.4 million views. This makes it feel like the world is a better place than it is. Why do people love it? Because it's animals being friends. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't like that? Music video of the year goes to See You Again, Wiz Khalifa and Charlie Puth. This was from the film Furious 7, which grossed over 350 million at the domestic box office. Of course, this wow. video though, uh, was so sad. The song is sad, yeah. remembering, of course, the late Paul Walker. We were talking about this. While this video was huge, this wasn't one you did a parody of because yeah. of the subject no. matter. No way. My team wanted to do a parody of it, and I was like, there's no way we can do it. Yeah. You can't. You know how pissed off people would have gotten? This video alone got 1.2 billion views, most viewed YouTube video of the year, and fourth most of all time. Damn. I think it's because uh, the circumstances of Paul Walker being involved, the song itself, I mean, all of it together made for uh, something that people felt really connected to and shared everywhere. On a lighter note, if you haven't seen Vin Diesel's Facebook page and his videos, go check them out. I haven't seen them. He dances. Oh, well, I know Very you did. Well. Maybe I've seen a couple. Quirky dance. He, you need to dance like that. Well, then invite him over. Tell him to teach me how to do it. Pair of the year for many years in a row goes to Bart Baker. Thank you. To you. Thank you for giving me the award. <laughs> what is this? this I is don't like want to clap with my hands together because then it'll ruin your audio. The top parody of the year was Uptown Funk for you. I, I guess so. News to my ears. Uptown Funk was a big song this Uptown year. Uptown Funk was a really big song. Yeah. It kind of lasted a whole year, that song. You I feel like, it. felt like many age groups liked that song. For sure. Young, old. Because it's got the funk vibe, but mm -hmm. it's got the pop vibe too. Soulful. Yeah. A lot of people do parodies on YouTube. Yeah, a lot um, of people do. Why do you think your parodies uh, get a lot of views and a following? Because we make fun of the artists in the song. Mm -hmm. That's what people want to see. And of course, they're extremely high quality production. I mean, they, they, they some of them look so much like the original but my producers are very good at that stuff. And the set designers are crazy. And the costume designers are Everything. crazy. Makeup's crazy. So what you're saying is it's a more intricate production than this? Than this shoot right now. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, you know, a little bit. Fail of the year goes to <laughs> mini basketball fail. Funny to some people, I feel bad for Oh, this come on. Boy. There's so many fails Something where people actually get hurt. No, it was like a piece of plastic. <laughs> come on. This was from OMG Fails. Why do people love fails online? Because they like seeing other people get hurt. And mm -hmm. then they like to think to themselves, glad that wasn't me. It makes them feel better about themselves. Why not celebrate wins? Celebrate awesome. You should start that channel. Celebrate awesome. It's gonna be me being like, you're awesome. 
viral trend of the year isn't a video, but it was one of the most shared and talked about things online, the dress. Oh, God. Which came out of nowhere. Yeah, all of a sudden it was Still just there. So is it black and blue or white and gold? I, I think it's black and blue. Wasn't that the name of a Backstreet Boys album? <laughs> That's probably what it was. It's probably the Backstreet Boys doing some kind of weird marketing for their old album. Maybe. Well, BuzzFeed set Holy records hell. for the most people on the site at any given time for this. Not for world events or big breaking news. For a dress. But I guess the dress was a breaking news story. Current biology found that 57% saw the dress as blue and black, 30% as huh. white and gold, and about 10% as blue and brown. I don't remember what well, I saw it as. Well, approximately 10% could switch between any of the color combinations, which is true depending on the lighting. No, it's, and how just you look the way, at it. it's just how your rods and cones are, or, are oriented at that moment. Wow. Comedy sketch of the year goes to BuzzFeed's Puppyhood. A whopping 81.3 million views on Facebook, 8 million on YouTube, and is also sponsored by Purina Puppy Chow. It's an advertisement so for it's an ad dog food. So it's an ad for dog food and it's funny. They were smart with that one. Yeah, they, they did an they ad were. and they made it funny and they got a lot of views. And, and now they probably have dog food for life. I'm sure they eat a lot of dog food there. <laughs> because of its popularity, this was followed by several sequels, including Some Ground Rules and Our First Poop. I mean, you could just throw it in the trash. It's our first poop. All right. <laughs> that was gonna be our next collab video, Bart. Our first poop. That's never gonna be a collab video. <laughs> Facebook video of the year goes to Baked Apple Roses. Wow, it's a food video. Well, food videos are blowing up on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, one, people love these close-up shots of like yeah. these quick hitting videos that show you how to make something cool. And also because there are a lot of females and moms on Facebook. And a ton of comments are just like, this is so cool, I'm gonna try it. Aspirational videos do really well on Facebook and now cooking videos. You never know. Facebook is just one of those things where you never know if it's gonna take off or not. And mm -hmm. some of them just get so big. Prank of the year goes to Roman Atwood, crazy plastic ball prank. No surprise here. That was an ad Kills too. It. it was, it was for a car company. Nissan. And for the Super Bowl. They gave him a car afterwards. As a joke, he asked for one and they just delivered it to his doorstep. I mean, yes, it was like a sponsored video, but it had great quality content. I mean, yeah. he literally filled his entire living room up with these plastic balls. Right. And yeah. his kids were freaking out. He's like the I most awesome out. dad. I yeah. would freak out still, actually. <laughs> yeah, it took 250,000 colored balls to fill the home. How many balls did it take to fill this up? A lot, a, a <laughs> lot of balls. <laughs> At least this was a better one to win than some of his other more controversial ones like killing my own kid prank and blowing up my kid prank. And why do you think people love Roman in this video? Uh, because he put a bunch of balls in his house. Two freakouts, kid goes, whoa, and then Brittany goes, oh, wow. And then everyone was like, that's dope, share. That's how it works, kids. <laughs> well, there you have it. Thanks, Bart, for joining us for another year in viral videos and trends. Thank you. You can check out our full list in the description below and at whatstraining.com. Thanks so much for Tubular for their help again this year. Happy New Year. Let us know if we missed anything on the list this year in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more of What's Trending. Bye. Bye, happy day year. <laughs>